Hey folks, it is Chad again at Airstream of Greensboro. I have behind me the longest, uh, the nicest Airstream travel trailer that is currently made. It's the 2023 33FB with the twin bed option. So it's going to have all the storage. We're going to jump into this, do a walk around of the outside and of the inside. Let's check this thing out and what makes it awesome. Now, as I start the walk around of this on the outside, I'm going to give you some of the specs for this. So this is going to be the 33 foot front bed, twin bed model. You're going to be as far as length, just over 33 foot. So 33 foot, three inches. Uh, your overall width is going to be eight feet, five and a half inches. Uh, your height is going to be nine feet, six inches. That does include the ACs above. Uh, your hitch weight on this 33 is going to be a thousand pounds. Um, this is going to be one of those ones where you really want to start, or you really want to start to think about the 2500 F250 size vehicle for this. Uh, your base base weight is 8,300 pounds, 8,375 pounds to be exact. Um, now it changes depending on the options and the actual weight would be on the sticker. The, um, the max weight is going to be the GVWR is going to be 10,000 pounds. So with a, with a travel trailer this large, um, a lot of your trucks, like my personal Ram 1500 can tow 10,500 pounds. So can it technically tow it from a weight standpoint? Sure. Um, the, the actual tongue weight, the hitch weight is what's going to probably get me in trouble at the thousand pound hitch weight. That's where you're going to really want to go more towards an F-250 or 2500 to be able to have that payload capacity. And hopefully you've kind of got this from the videos. I try to be um, as honest as possible. I like to make sure that I'm giving you correct information and I'm not just selling you into something that um, you couldn't tow, you couldn't use, and you'd ultimately be going out and getting another larger truck and it'd be a purchase you weren't planning for. Uh, so just up front, this is a larger camper. You're probably not going to want to tow this with a half ton vehicle. Now moving to the front of the classic, one of the things you're going to notice with a classic, if you've never seen one in person is everything is elevated. All of your options, just the doors, just anything that Airstream could elevate and make a little bit nicer. They do that. And one of the things is going to be these really nice stainless steel uh, propane tanks that also have the built-in gauge. So this will tell the system on the inside how much propane you have left in your tanks. It'll give you an alert if your propane tanks are low. You do still have, just like you have with a lot of your other Airstreams, the uh, propane disconnect right there. And then with the Classic, it comes standard with two of the Battleborne 100 amp hour batteries that do have the um, warming element in there so it has the battery heater built in uh, that comes standard with the classic uh, you have the demco hitch system up front you have of course the power ton jack there you have the aluminum um, cover for your propane the one thing i didn't mention even the system that they have for holding down these tanks is is better than your average airstream like this is a solid piece of aluminum here very nice so everything, everything they could upgrade and make a little bit nicer, they have upgraded and made a little bit nicer. Does have the spare tire that just like a lot of your other Airstreams is gonna be stored right there under the tongue jack or just under the front section there. Now, as far as storage with it being the twin bed model, you're gonna have that awesome storage that lives up front. So that's your main storage up front. This is gonna be a standard 50 amp camper. So there's your 50 amp cable. It is a smart plug, which I'll show in a second. You do have the light up front. And then on your driver side storage. Now this is this is actually deeper than you're gonna see in your Globetrotter your International as far as the side storage there is quite a bit deeper. And you're gonna get the additional wet storage that lives down here and we call this wet storage because it's not sealed off there's there's some rubber seals and you know here but this is going to receive water when it's going down the road so what you put down there you definitely want to make sure you're okay with it getting wet then you do have your 
sewer hose storage there that you get with pretty much all your Airstreams. There's another wet storage compartment right there. And then of course with the classic, you are gonna get the stainless steel rock guards. Now, the whole unit on the outside, all of this metal here is all gonna be aluminum, stretched aluminum. You have aluminum studs on the inside and an additional aluminum skin on the interior, which I'll show you in a second. Um, now this does have a semi, it's a, it's somewhat different than your average um, Airstream travel trailer like your Flying Cloud. Now, as far as the way they build it, it's the same, but this is gonna have a stamped out uh, structure that goes through the inside instead of the hand welded. But that also means if you look up top, it's hard to see, but you don't have that bubble that you have with, the, with a lot of your other Airstreams and it's gonna have two Coleman um, Mach-Q AC units as opposed to the Dometic. Now, the Airstream Classic is also gonna come with the Air Connect up there already. You saw that. It's gonna come with the electric powered awning. It's gonna come with electric powered stabilizers. It's also gonna come standard with the solar, the solar package that would be an option on some of your other Airstreams. You have some additional storage on the passenger side there, which is also a good deep amount of storage. It is heated. Now, one thing to mention, these are these doors are insulated. They are sealed all the way around. And the latch here is a positive latch, locking latch. So when I push that down, you can see it actually squeezing this door to the seal. And there's two, not just one, but two. So a door that size with a lot of your other manufacturers would have one latch. You're gonna have two latches with the Airstream to help give it an even amount of uh, pressure spread across that seal. The aluminum steps that come with a lot of the, the Airstreams. You do have the door that takes about eight hours to, to build by hand. You also have an illuminated handle and you have a doorbell that comes standard with the Classic. You can see the heating exhaust there and there is a 110 outlet there. now. Most of your Airstreams are gonna come with a Goodyear Endurance tire. The classic being that it is, it's a larger size. These are actually gonna come with the Michelin tires. They are LT225 75R16, so a 16 inch wheel. Um, these have a little bit more ply to them, so they're a little bit heavier duty. They will ride great and they'll support you, you know, throughout the whole process. Now it does have the Demco axle going across with the additional damper and you have the Demco automatic adjusting brakes that come with the classic. Some more additional storage for your outside wet compartment there. So a total of three wet compartments as well as your three front compartments and there's an additional storage compartment which you don't generally see with the Airstream in the back. And this is going to be a good, a good bit of storage. Not a huge yeah, huge storage, but it's a nice additional storage, which is uncommon a lot of times with your Airstreams. If you've been watching a lot of videos or seeing them in person, you know, sometimes Airstreams can be a little bit short on storage when it comes to outside storage. And you do have the bumper and the bumper storage there. You have your LED lights. You have the standard backup camera, the standard window awnings that come with the Classic. And then you have your gray and black tank there. Now the whole underbelly is enclosed and heated. Um, you've got your pulls there. They're actually tucked back in there. You've got an additional wet storage area there. You've got your upgraded smart plug phone and TV, which it says phone, but it's actually just gonna be TV satellite connection there. And that's an upgrade to your normal uh, Airstream products the smart plug TV satellite, which is a nice metal closure there. You've got your city fill, your black tank fill there. Another classic emblem. And then this will be a section where you're gonna see a little bit of an upgrade. Now these, this type of door here, you can buy this from Airstream and add this to your Globetrotter, or add it to your International or your Flying Cloud. This is gonna come standard with the classic now remember I said it's the electric stabilizer, so these are gonna control your electric stabilizers front and back. You've got your potable water, so your fresh water inlet here is gravity fed. And then you have a little bit of an upgraded shower 
with the chrome there you've got the the handheld removable shower head hot and cold water and you have this nice little uh, handle here which is not going to be super useful outside of just having a place to put it and of course that is also going to be a stainless steel door as well and beside that is your 50 amp smart plug um, gives you a greater metal to metal contact it's also significantly easier to use there's just two uh, latches that you squeeze and it pulls out and it just snaps into place there's no none of that screwing type of thing that you have to do with a lot of your other uh, travel trailers both of those windows there open of course the port windows do not open this window here opens as well and then with your your solar guards that come standard this front one uh, lifts up and then the window behind that also opens and that's over your your front bed there so that's a somewhat quick walk around of the outside of the classic again everything's basically upgraded if they could upgrade it make it a little bit nicer on the classic it's been upgraded and it's a little bit nicer to justify that price tag the less uh move to the inside and let me show you how beautiful the inside of the classic is now moving to the inside of the classic it's hard to see but the illumination is on here a really nice subtle light there and of course you have your doorbell so i'm going to open the door here as i mentioned hand-built door you know the airstream in itself is hand-built takes them about eight hours to build the door uh for the the, the metal screen is welded total eight welds four on each side um, you also have just that awesome vault sound of a door that closes i'm not sure how well that picks up on the video but that's probably the most gratifying um feeling i think there is when it comes to closing the door on a camper uh, you do have the latch that holds that door you do want to make sure that you don't leave your keys in here because that will hit against the side of the camper and dent that and then you can open this with one hand just push that with your thumb and then you can pull that if you've got something in the other hand such as my camera um, you can open that and moving in first thing i want to show you is the way the switches are upgraded so you're, you're not going to have your traditional plastic switch it is a metal switch it's finished really well it's labeled as well so you've got an onboard mode button when you tap this button it's going to automatically turn some lights on throughout the coach as well as eliminate your handle out there now when you leave one of the cool things about the classic and the pottery barn pottery barn also has this system is you can hit this away mode button and that will turn all of your lights off for you uh, this is going to give you the ability to run your awning in and out tilt your awning to the front or to the back and then turn some of your ceiling lights on um, your exterior master lights as well is there shot of the door now the 33 foot is very reminiscent to a lot of your travel trailer floor plans out there which to me is is a change uh, for Airstream because a lot of times with Airstream their floor plans are different they're they're unique and that's what makes Airstream awesome this one's going to have a kind of a mid-living section so you have the recliner couch there you have a dinette here you've got your kitchen there and then you have a desk with a drop down uh, theater style screen with a projector uh, there now one thing that you're probably probably noticing off the bat is the enormous amount of storage and the quality of your cabinet doors um, now with the front the front bed section your front bed is going to be there with it being a mid living uh, setup you're going to have a massive incredible bathroom back there it's the best airstream bathroom that they make I can't wait to show that to you, but before we get there, let me show you the twin beds. So the doors going in there, they are pocket doors that open. Um, I don't know what you would call this. They open apart, but they slide in to there and they do have a locking mechanism to, to keep them open when you're traveling. And there's a nice little pop out grab here to be able to open them. And then that goes away has a magnet that magnetizes that door closed. Now the twin bed model, you're gonna have the two twin beds. Those beds are gonna be 36 inches by 80 inches. If you opt for the queen bed, which I'll show you what the queen bed looks like hopefully soon on a 30 foot 
classic uh, that we have here that I want to do a video on. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video. Hit the little uh, bell that will tell you, the alert bell that will tell you once I upload that video. You can get an idea of what the queen bed would look like. That'll be on the classic 30 foot. And if you get that queen bed, that bed is going to measure at 60 inches by 75 inches. So you do get more sleeping space with the twin bed as well as uh, more storage space. So you are going to have storage underneath on both sides. It's a pull up door, which is really nice, full extension. You've got the nice tongue groove style uh, cabinet front. And then same thing on this side as well. Get a look at that. So great storage, better storage than you're going to see in any of the other Airstream models. There's also some lights at the bottom to illuminate the floor at night. You have 110 power on both sides, so you have the ability to power any devices that you might need at night. Now these do come with the electric bed rest. You can see this one's up, that one's down, so I'm going to run this one up for you. It's electric. Oh, that's down. So that's up. So it's going to come up. Be a very comfortable setup at night when you're watching TV. Now we don't make these beds. We let the customer make the bed uh, once they get it. So that way, you know, no one has slept on this. Uh, very comfortable uh, memory foam style beds in here. Uh, you do have an additional light control here that will let you turn the fan on, open the vent, turn all your lights on and off and go to a sleep mode, which will basically turn everything off. You have the ability to run your bed head up here with this button on your, what's this, the passenger side. You also have an additional switch there for that and USB plugs right there. And then same thing on this side, you've got the control for the head, the, the bed rest as well as right there. So you can put that down without having to reach over the bed. Uh, if you're making the bed, you can get to it without having to reach across. And if you're laying in the bed, you don't have to jump up uh, to move that there. This is also a really nice switch. It's probably one of the nicest switches I've seen just in a travel trailer in general. Now, you do have your standard TV that has the the um, mount that pulls out so you can angle that. It is a 12-volt TV as well, so it'll run directly off your batteries. Uh, you have your over port there, your over window there, which is really nice. You have a smaller one there. You've got windows that open on both sides. And then that front window, as I mentioned, opens now. To open that window, you do first have to go outside and open the solar guard. And then you can open that window. Now, this is going to have, and I'll talk about that. Um, I'll talk about this a little bit more once we get up front. But it's a hydronic heating system. It's radiant heat. And it's a custom-made system for Airstream. And that's actually going to live back here. So you can see the radiant heater part of it. That's going to have a heated glycol solution that runs through it to create the heat. So they give you, so it has a way to get out. There is a nice little metal vent right there. There's additional vents there and there to let the heat come up. And throughout the coach, you're going to see things that one protects that so you don't touch it, but also allows for that heat to come out. Now the heating system... I had a family not too long ago that was here from Australia, and they had a camper. They didn't tell me if it was an Airstream, but they had a camper that had this exact Adele hydronic heating system in it. This is the control for it. And he raved about it, talked about it um, to the point where I thought I needed to record this for, uh, for a future to be able to show customers. He really likes that system. One of the things I really like about the Airstream Classic is that you have on board the Air Connect system. Now, you have to subscribe to the Air Connect system. But once you subscribe to it, you're going to have the ability to turn all of your lights on and off. You're going to have the ability to turn the heat on and off. And that controller is right here. There is a switch here to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Uh, there's some antennas in there uh, to create Wi-Fi into the coach. Above, which you saw on the outside part of this video, the Air Connect um, deal there. I have a really awesome couple that's traveling full-time uh, in a 19 CB Caravel. They have the Air Connect, and she told me that she's not went anywhere so far in the United States that she's not been able to get internet and work from home. 
So you have that system built in here, but that system is also going to be connected to your smart control, which is right there. And I'll talk about that here in a second. And that will let you be able to turn the heat on and off from anywhere in the world, anywhere you've got signal to the internet and your system here has got internet signal. You'll be able to turn your lights on and off, check your heating, check your AC system, turn those types of things on and off. Now, as far as storage, you've got some really nice deep storage in here it is it is lit there's a switch there and the light turns on as you open these really nice cabinet cabinet doors the best cabinet doors i think airstream has in the industry they do have soft close they do have the oversized and over engineered hinges that will last forever right there and then this does have the jl audio speaker system that has the subwoofer there's two speakers there for that and then of course there's speakers up front as well and then with the twin bed model, you're going to have additional wardrobe storage right there and right here. And that's sh these shelves can be adjusted. They can also come out, drop them down to the bottom, and you've got your wardrobe hook or hanger right there. Very nice setup. So I'm going to move to the dinette here. So this dinette does fold down, makes into a bed. It makes into a 42 by 42 inch by 76 inch bed. Uh, this is powered, so it's not something you have to do yourself. There's a switch that just let, lets that drop down, then you move your cushions over, makes into a bed there. Now, this section here is going to be an electric um, recliner, and it does have the drop-down middle section, which I really like, and there's a really nice uh, countertop in there, just like the countertops in the kitchen. You do have USB power right there for charging. And then you can see the recliner there. Very nice. Very nice recliner. Absolutely beautiful ultra leather throughout this coach. There's a little bit of storage here. You can drop your phone there or your iPad. And then you have a fusion radio here. It sounds fantastic. Lots of low end. And then you've got your HDMI, USB charging here. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no, you know, blue, blu ray player or anything of that nature. You can add that. You've got the USB, the HDMI connection there, and you also have an inverted power circuit right there. This remote is for, or this is the cover, sorry, for the, the Fusion Radio. Um, you could add an Apple TV, Apple TV there, as well as a Roku TV, so forth, and then be able to plug in. And then your projector that is right there. And that is going to shoot across to a screen that comes down um, right in that section. And then show the storage that you have above good deep storage your antennas right there with the power button and of course the same soft close there and then moving around to the kitchen of the 33 you've got some storage above now this one here has soft close but it doesn't have anything to hold the door open i'm not sure why airstream wouldn't give you uh, hinges to hold that door open, but they don't. Now you have a 12 a um, 12 volt electric refrigerator that's going to run off of those uh, lithium batteries. It's 12 cubic foot in total. You've got a nice freezer up top and a really nice refrigerator. It's going to be deeper than your traditional propane refrigerator because it doesn't have that propane technology there. It's all electric, so it's going to give you a little bit more storage. It will also cool down quicker and it will actually freeze your ice cream, unlike your propane. So there's a really nice, really nice refrigerator. And then you're going to have a pull-out pantry here with the adjustable shelves and a little bit of additional storage above. There's that, that pull-out pantry there, a better shot of that. That's as far as it comes out, so it doesn't come out completely. You have the really nice chef inspired three burner stovetop with a really nice cast iron grates over top. This reminds me of uh, my oven stovetop at home. And then you're gonna have the microwave below. That is a convection microwave as well. And it's got the drop down, it kind of feels like an oven, but it's a microwave slash convection. Very nice, large residential style. Uh, residential size microwave slash convection. A little bit of storage below. That's actually a very deep drawer there. Wow. And then you do have the vent that vents to the outside and it does have a light 
that will illuminate what you're cooking. Some nice storage here with a, a little uh, system to keep things from falling out. Additional storage, just a ton, ton of storage in this Classic. Now that the screen is behind this box right here, so you lose a little bit of storage in this space here um, for that screen to be able to go in. Just to give you a shot of all of that storage above. And then you're gonna have some additional pull-out drawers there. It's a little hidden drawer. A very deep, good pot drawer there. I mean, this is definitely a coach that you could full-time in. Um, I think you can full-time in, in about anything. It just depends on um, how you want to use it. But this is absolutely a full-time capable RV. You get the trash can right there. And it has a nice little cutout to keep it in place. Another pull-out there. And I think this is, yep, the silverware. So you got a silverware, a drawer just for the silverware. Now that does come out so you can make that into additional storage of this felt lined there which is really nice now you see the level two tank monitor is hidden here but that that kind of seems like a bad place it's not i'll show you why in a second and then you have additional storage below you have a motion sense illumination for your floor at night now you have a nice wine bottle holder here you've got larger on one side smaller on the other side so it can come in and set down a little bit keep the uh keep the cork nice and moist some storage above and then you've got a really nice gently move these really large nice stainless steel undermounted sink it is dampened as you can see there it's got the damping on it so it's not loud as you use it and then you can see a little bit of space back here that's to let that hydronic heat get up and around the cabinet you also are going to have that there that back into place huh. there we go and then you do have power there lights above to illuminate really nicely a uh, good power spot there so that's all the storage in the kitchen area now this section here is going to be kind of your office area you do have the screen that drops down above you've got a nice bose soundbar there for your tv entertainment system and you also have this really nice ultra leather on wheels chair for your desk area there and there's a little bit of power underneath there and you have some additional storage in the office area right there in there i'm not seeing a file cabinet per se is that something you were looking for and then this is just the mat that comes with the classic. I'll set that down there. And you do have a nice little pop-up power station right there with that both 110 and USB power for your desk area. You have the JL audio speakers, very nice speakers, very nice sounding speakers as well. And then you, with the classic, the 33, you're, you're gonna have two AC systems. You're also gonna have heat pumps. This does have the upgraded uh, filtered air conditioning system. It is ducted. It's a true duct work. It's not just cut into foam like you're going to see on a lot of your motorhomes and your other travel trailers. This is going to be a true duct work if you've seen any of the, uh, the videos uh, of them building these systems. You do have a really nice, fantastic fan just over the living area as well as the bedroom area there. Now I want to talk about the smart control system for a second. Now this system is really cool. <laughs> so you've got four modes on the classic. You've got on board. That means you've just walked in. That's the button over there at the main door. You've got a cinema mode. You've got a sleep mode and you've got an away mode. The thing I love about Airstream's smart system is the graphics. It's just so cool. So that's your awning light there. I can turn that on and off here. I can turn off the light or turn on the, the, the entry door light there and just tap what I want. But then I swipe over to the inside of the coach and now I can go in and turn on 
a shower light. I can turn on the lights in the bathroom. I can also turn all of these off by just hitting the sleep mode or the away mode and it will turn all of the lights off. Um, now you've got your climate control built into this system here. You've got your fans, both your front and your rear fan and your bathroom fan. You can open those lids, turn all of those on as well. These modes here are pre-programmed to make changes. You tap over on the little menu. You've got your favorites, which is this section here. You've got all of your different modes there. You can activate those uh, and you can make changes to them. You've got all of your controls and this is really going to get into like the nitty gritty of everything you've got from your tank heaters because this does have the onboard tank heaters to turn your water pump on and off um, you can also check all of your different systems so your fresh water your gray gray water your waste water or as we call your black tank and as far as those tank sizes you're going to be 52 on your fresh uh, 52 gallons your, your gray is going to be 32 gallons and your black is going to be 36 gallons so it shows you all three of those there. It's also going to show you your propane tank levels here as well in a percentage. It's going to show you your front and your rear temp in the coach. A little bit chilly in here right now. And then your battery voltage as well and what's coming in with your solar system. So it gives you that as well. And then you can even get into things like the monitor, tanks, uh, temperature, so forth there. And of course, your climate control, there's a whole separate section for that. Uh, running your awning in and out. Uh, this also has tire pressure monitoring. You can see that right there. And what's really cool with this system is uh, you can check all of this with your phone. So with the smart app that you can download, it's, very, it's free to download. And with the cellular connection or the Wi-Fi connection, you're able to check those pressures and temperatures, uh, all four of your tires that are on the coach. Just, I just think this is fantastic. Um, and then it does have an alarm section that's going to pop up. And like right now it's telling me that this coach doesn't have any propane. It doesn't have any propane. We haven't put propane, uh, propane on it yet. When this pops up, there's an acknowledge button. Once you hit that acknowledge, it will stop alerting you. And then you can really jump into all of the different settings with the smart control system. Like I said, my one of my favorite things is the graphics. They're just I just think it's such a cool, such a, such a cool setup. And you do have this really nice system. Um, this kind of home page that just shows you everything. Of course, that's the classic Airstream smart control technology. Gives you your batteries, all your tank readings, as well as your propane. Gives you the ability to check a bunch of things on that one screen. And you have the ability to control this whole system in the smart app. Anywhere in the world, if you have your Wi-Fi and cellular modem turned on and you have that connected to something like AT&T or Verizon, uh, you have the ability to turn all this on, check this, all of that stuff. And another really cool thing is there is a lockout for when you're going down the road. You can turn that off just in case one of your kids gets a hold of the phone or grandkids gets a hold of the phone. They can't like run the awning out, things like that. That actually gets locked out and prevents you from being able to run, say, the awning out while you're going down the road. So that's the smart control system. It's a fantastic system that comes in the classic and it comes in the pottery barn. When I was at the factory recently, I requested that they bring this system down the line, at least to the Globetrotter. Love to see it in the international as well. It's such a cool system, um, especially with the ability to control things remotely, turn your heat on remotely, turn the AC on remotely. If you have pets, you can monitor the temperature of the coach while you're away on a hike or, you know, out going for, you know, enjoying the town, you have the ability to check those types of things as well. Now going to the massive, beautiful bathroom that the 33 foot gives you. First thing I want to do is close this door. This is, um, this door, you know, says a lot about my house, but this door is significantly nicer than the, the doors in my house. It's heavy. It's got a weight to it. It feels luxurious. It feels like you've, you've paid for something really nice. And, and you want that when you're, when you're buying the classic, you want that feeling and you're definitely getting that. You have the upgraded door handles from what you're going to see in your other, uh, style airstreams. Now you're going to have a massive wardrobe, wardrobe with that cedar line. 
in this bathroom area. And I love, love it, love it when they put the wardrobe in with in the bathroom because you have the ability to shut the door, shut this really nice door with a massive full mirror, hello, um, and get ready without having to go out into the coach. You, you don't have to go out there. You can fully get ready because you have your closet here. There's a little bit of storage below as well. And then you have this absolutely gorgeous setup for a bathroom in an Airstream. Just Not just an Airstream, but just any RV. Just gorgeous bathroom. You've got this raised sink. It's porcelain sink. It's a residential style sink. And you've got this beautiful uh, water spigot. You've got a very nice vanity here that is illuminated on both sides. There is storage behind that as well. Of course, with the mirror. You've got additional storage above that does have the hinge that holds it up. I wish they would put this hinge on that one that's over the, the refrigerator. You're also going to come standard with the 33 foot and macerator commode. The control for that is right there. And then one other thing, I don't have the heat on in, inside. It would be nice to have the heat on right now, but when you have that heat on, remember it's a, it's a glyco liquid that's running through the coach and it's giving you that radiant heat. Well, they run that through this towel rack to give you a heated towel. So it's a heated towel bar. Anytime the heat is on, you're going to have water running through that. So know that if the heat's on, that's going to be warm. It's going to be hot to the touch. You're not going to want to touch that with your, your bare hands for a long you know, extended period of time. But you can hang your towels there and have a nice warm towel for when you get out of the shower. There's some additional storage right there. Not, not a ton of storage, but a little bit of storage right there. And then additional storage over the commode. Now that's a deeper section there. It's a nice deep bit of storage. Now I'm gonna sit down on the commode because I just pretty much always do that with these uh, with these videos. But the truth is, there is so much room in this bathroom that it's not even a question of whether or not there's enough room in this bathroom. There's absolutely enough room. There's plenty of room for my legs. There's plenty of room for my body, and the actually the height of this is a really nice height for me. I'm 5'11". My legs are comfortable as well. Nice storage area right there. You've got your hydron heat behind here as well as up there. You've got a power plug there. And then moving to probably the best part of the 33 foot is going to be this absolutely amazing shower, huge shower. I think it's three foot by four foot. So you do have the lock there and that, that's plastic. It pops off. These are not plastic. These are very nice. Opens the both sides. You do have the movable shower, shower head that you can move around your body there. You've got a really nice residential style uh, water system there. Now this is going to have a tankless heater. It's part of that hydronic system. Uh, so you have hot water as long as you want to have hot water. Now, one of the things that's really nice about the shower because of its position, I'm going to move out so you can see the amount of room, 5'11", there's an enormous amount of room above my head here, and that's because this is pulled forward a little bit. The commode and that storage there is pushed back into that corner, so you actually have a little bit more room here. Uh, really nice size shower. It's plenty of room. There's, you know, this is a this is a motorhome size shower. This is a residential size shower. Really nice shower with a head has multiple um, uh, spray spray options there. <laughs> uh, you do have the the little small towel holder that pulls across there, which that's going to be nice for things like bathing suits. Not not necessarily a large towel. This is also height adjustable as well. Which is not something we see a lot with uh, with uh, other options that are out there, and something else that's really cool. There is a really nice LED light strip behind that illuminates the glass all the way around in the shower. Absolutely gorgeous. Lock that back down. It's a very nice illumination there, and then just just a <laughs> huge. Huge bathroom, the most roomy bathroom I've seen um, in any travel trailer, but especially an Airstream.
Just a beautiful setup. Turn your water pump on here if you need to. Turn your fans on. Turn all of your different lights on. There's your shower light there. And then I, I haven't mentioned this, but all of your lights are going to have a really nice, um, smooth gradient as they go up, as they come on, and a nice fade as they cut off, which is very luxurious. Same thing with your vanity lights there. You have an emergency window right there that does open. Now, first, if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you for watching the video, watching all the way through to the end. Uh, this is an amazing coach. It's beautiful, everything about it. It's luxurious. It's top quality. If you're looking for that full timing uh, feel, that residential feel, um, you're looking for quality, there isn't anything out there uh, that's going to be in an Airstream, especially the Classic. Uh, the Classic is just beautiful, full of technology, uh, full of hard surfaces, quality fills. Uh, so if you're looking for a Classic, be sure to check out Airstream in Greensboro. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like it, uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And if you want to be alerted uh, when I post things, click the, the bell icon there. Uh, if you have any questions about Airstream, about Classics, um, or any other Airstream models that are out there, be sure, be sure to reach out to me. My name, again, is Chad Watson. All of my contact information is below. Feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Hope you're having a great day. Live riveted, and hey, let's go camping.